In this video, I want to talk about how to make a brush in Photoshop. All right, I'm going to start by making a new canvas. And I'm just going to choose uh, 1920 by 1080. The size isn't super important at this point. I just want to show you how to make one. And then I'm going to choose a shape. So I'm going to come over here to the um, elliptical marquee tool. And then I'm going to hold down shift on the keyboard so that it stays a perfect circle. And then I'm going to center it. So now I have a selection that is in a perfect circle shape. Uh, so then I'm going to come over to my brush tool. And the color doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to paint in black just so that it it shows up uh, easily and I'm gonna choose a brush grass brush and I'll increase the spacing something like that okay and you'll notice that I paint in the circle with the brush a large brush covers the whole circle and doesn't go out of the circle because I made a selection all right so now that that's done I can click off the brush and then just come up to the top where it says edit and then come down to define brush preset. When I click that, it's going to ask me to name the brush. So I'm going to call it grass circle. And that's probably good enough. And now you'll see I have a brush. Let me get a new layer, and I'll turn this layer off, and I need a, I need a white layer so I can see what I'm doing. So I'll just get the paint bucket tool and dump white paint on that layer. Okay, how come I'm not, oh, because I have the selection still there. To get rid of a selection is Control D. That gets rid of the selection. Now I can put the paint over that whole layer. And then I'm going to come back up to this top layer and I'm going to go get that brush I just made. And here it is. So now we have a circular shaped brush with that grass pattern in the middle. And if I choose a color, like if I leave it as black the way I made it, you can see now I can paint with that brush. Uh, let's undo that. Let's try a different color. We'll try a light red. And we'll go to the brush properties. And I'm going to increase the spacing. So you can see it will space out the circles based on how much I spread it out. So if I undo that, all right, that's too spread out. I'm going to undo that. Or I can simply just do single clicks, like one click here, one click here. And I can overlap them. And make a pattern. All right. So there's one way to make a brush. And actually, I just made a digital background that could be used for all sorts of things. So try making your own brush. And try using it to make some sort of a pattern. It's a lot of fun. Hi, this is Gary from MotherToSnapshot.com. I mostly make videos about photography and image editing software. So if that's something you're into, you should subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell icon so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop, you should check out the description for a link to my uh, Snapshot membership course. It includes all of my courses plus lots of free digital resources.